All right, guys, so I'm editing a wedding and um, on my uh, iMac right here. So what I want to do is I want to move this wedding to this computer so I can edit when I'm on the road, right? So I want to move um, this edit to this computer so I can edit when I'm on the road. So what you do is you go there and you create an XML file, okay? You create a file called XML file. Now, I don't know if um, you guys can see here, but um, my goal is to bring you into the um, into the computer, but let me, let's just see if you can see here. So you go here and then you go on um, export XML file, okay guys? You go and export XML file, and all you do is um. Anyway, first let me click the the whole thing. This is it, right? So this is it. This is the one I want to move. So this one, and then you go to export XML file up here. Export XML file, and then you can name it whatever you want to name it here. Okay. Um, for this example, let me adjust the brightness here. For this example, I'm going to name it, uh, well, Jerry and Mimi, Jerry and Mimi file, okay, so Jerry and Mimi, wedding trailer, whatever, so it's an, um, let me just put it on my desktop right now, and save, XML file, okay, that's it, so now we're going to go here, right, so what we're going to do is just um, move the SD card put the XML file on the SD card and then um, put it on here and click on that XML file so with that being said I'm gonna go into the computer here to show you a few things but um, what you wanna do is the hard drive that has all the files from this wedding the hard drive that has all the files from this wedding you want to make sure you put all those files on um, on your you know your storage your mobile storage device like this right here I have this right here my um, Toshiba whatever so I move the stuff from those files and put them onto this so just the wedding what I need from the wedding um, you know so I move all those files on here and then um, when I move them on here of course I have to connect it to my computer here so what I do is I'm gonna go in Final Cut Pro and I'm gonna open that XML file and then I'm gonna show you from there how I go, go about um, setting up the XML file on this computer all right my check my check all right guys so I'm in my laptop right now this is my um, desktop all right so let's go get the files so we got Jerry and Mimi in here. This is a XML file in the club. Now this one right here. So Jerry and Mimi XML. So we double click on that. So um, Final Cut Pro is gonna go ahead and load up. So there we go. We're gonna put this in. Um, hmm. Wedding highlights, I guess. Yeah, wedding highlights. Let's go. Continue. So as you can see, like I was saying, see how the title, because um, I don't have the, I don't think I have the same thing in here. So things like the titles and stuff like that, I'm not worrying about that because. Eventually, I'm going to move this file back to my iMac when I'm done editing in here. So I'm not worried about titles and color grading. So where is this file? It's in, um, right here in Waiting Highlights. So there we go, Jerry and Mimi. So click on Jerry and Mimi here. So as you can see, see how when I did this in... Um, when I did this on my iMac, everything showed up because everything was already in the system. So right now, none of these files are 
in the system just like the adjustment layer is not in the system and delete that I don't really care about color grading now or the titles and stuff I don't really care about that right now all I care about is going ahead and editing this thing so what I do is um what you can do is you can just move all the files from um from your you know the backup that I told you you put everything on so in this case here it is so Jerry and Mimi this is all their files here so you just move all their files see you just move all their files from here you can just drag and drop them in there but um I don't recommend you do that guys because um when you do that you you're gonna use up a lot of space in Final Cut what I recommend you do is you go here so you can create proxy files you go on um, import media you go to the hard drive that you have the thing on which in case in my case is this one Jerry and Mimi go down here bow I don't need the audio so I'll just go like this for now you can do whatever you can put whatever um, and then import So make sure keywords leave files in place. Yeah. Yeah. So as you can see, I've imported all of my files. So just like you see, everything is coming up now. You know, you don't even have to relink anything. You could go that way, but you know, just as long as you put the files in the same in the same event as um your project is like right here you know everything is gonna just like come up so these are all the files so and as you can see your timeline is you know showing up here so um so like I said you move all the audio files I didn't move the audio file yet well, this is just an example but you get the point you see what I did here so that's all you have to do guys just move the files and put them in there and then let's say you want to add more to this edit right so you can just you know add more to the edit and when you add more to the edit as soon as you're done there just click the um, export XML and then go in the other in your main um, editing workspace and just open it there and then what I recommend is just you open it in a separate um, thing and then you just uh, click like select all the new edits you've made together with the audio that accompanies it and just move them to the file that move them to the to your other edit anyway so yeah so that's just me showing you how to work between two computers it's really easy guys it's really easy it's uh it helps a lot for people who do a lot of traveling and um you know or maybe you want to do some work when you bring the kids to the park and you know you bring your laptop with you or you go you know just on a vacation or something like that and you want to bring and you want to keep you want to do some work so that's how you do it yeah so that's how you definitely do it guys it's pretty easy it's pretty easy and I recommend that um yeah you guys do this way if you have two computers you know I recommend you guys work between two computers instead of waiting to get back to your house to edit or thinking like oh I'm gonna have too much work blah 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 because once you're done with editing here you can always just delete all this stuff and um, you have the main backup and all that stuff your files are there so this video is going too far but that's that's how you do it so let's go